The worst hostage situation in U.S. history played out right here in Sacramento nearly three decades ago. And now the standoff is the inspiration for a new feature film. It's called A Clear Shot and premieres right here in Sacramento on Saturday. Tonight, we're hearing from the film's director and getting a unique perspective from someone who was there. Shots fired on live TV as a tense eight hour standoff at the Good Guys Electronics Store in South Sacramento came to a close. The 1991 hostage situation left three of the four robbers, two store employees, and a customer dead. A lot of what happened is burned into my mind even 28 years later. Reporter George Warren was broadcasting at the scene as the drama unfolded. We came on live right as the flashbang grenade was going off inside the store. Now that live TV tragedy is the basis for a new feature film titled A Clear Shot, premiering this weekend at Sacramento's Esquire Theater. It's still the biggest hostage situation in U.S. history. The film's director, Nick Leisure, was born in Sacramento and watched with his friends. We saw it on the news and ended up going over there to check it out. The movie changes the name of the store and parts of the plot have been fictionalized, but it does create some of the most iconic scenes from the standoff, including the shattering of the front window and a deputy stripping down to his underwear to deliver a bulletproof vest to the gunman. It tells kind of both sides of the story, like from the uh, perspective of the, of the police and also for the, from the perspective of the gunman. Action! Though the movie is set in Sacramento, it wasn't filmed here. Leisure says the lack of local support forced him to shoot in Mexico. We've brought millions of dollars to Mexico now that could have been revenue in Sacramento. Today, the actual building is a dollar tree. Good guys went out of business years ago. But this notorious slice of Sacramento's history will now gain new attention on the silver screen. Mario Van Peebles and other stars of the film are expected to be at Saturday's red carpet premiere. The movie is expected to have a wide release later this year.